Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good today. It's cool, well, it's a little breezy. Kind of cool out. Uh, we had to go back down there to the trash can place. Just got back. And I they acted like they didn't believe us or something, I guess. And he wanted to, well, he want, the supervisor wanted to see my video. So I, you know, I fast forwarded it to it. And uh, of course he was all the way, if you saw it, he was all the way at the end of the driveway there and it was pretty far away. But he said it appeared like he had the clamp on there wrong. And you could tell when he set the garbage can down, it, it moved forward real fast. And I think he slammed it down fast, you know, faster than he was supposed to, too. And I showed him the pictures. See, yesterday I sent him two different emails to the address that they gave me. And they both said they were sent, but they said they've been having problems with their computers and uh, something rather like that, and that they never got either one of them. So we went, like I said, we went back down there. And, uh, but he was wanting to see the video anyway, and I didn't want to send them the video. And uh, so I showed him, like I said, then, then he said, uh, he said they would take care of it. And uh, he said he had believed us, you know, cause I was a little mad that they didn't act like they didn't believe us. But he, naturally he's gonna, he knows I have all kinds of, you know, uh, evidence, you know, how lucky was it that I was filming anyway. And uh, so he was like, no, I was never mad or nothing, you know. I, well, I never, I never didn't believe you, but he said I wanted to see the video, cause I have a feeling that that guy probably damaged more than one yesterday, because I think that truck he was in, they've never been in that truck before. That looks like an extra one. It didn't have any logo of the city on the side of it. It had it on the front cab, but not on the truck itself, which all the others do. I feel like that that guy probably broke down in his regular truck and had to go get another one and he was in a hurry so he's slamming them down real fast to get going everywhere he went i think that you know or something happened and they sent another guy on the route either one you know they were late and they they were messing you know they messing uh, our can up and who knows who else's so at least he, you know, admitted that it looked like the guy had the clamp on there incorrectly. So he could see it good enough to do that. I mean, so, you you know, uh, the advice I'll give everybody out there, uh, especially when you're getting, you know, 60 plus, uh, stand up for yourself, y'all. Don't just take what people say, especially with things to do like that, or the city or things. They're going to just try to just, you know, brush it off or anything, you know, and, and a lot of people wouldn't have done, gone down there like we did twice, you know, but you've got to, if you want things to be right, you know, and if they don't do it then, then I had a case if I'd wanted to, you know, if I'd wanted to pursue any other course, but uh, take pictures, uh, definitely take pictures of anything. Um, I hear them. I hear them over there cutting on that tree again. They got a big thing over there. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta take up for yourself. Even if you end up, you know, not getting anything done, I would you always try, you know. But uh, I also know the right wording to use and things that'll give them a little, you know, push their buttons, you know, myself, but I try not to use those techniques until I need to. I was very nice to him, you know. So they're gonna bring one when they, uh, next Thursday when we put the garbage cans down, they said don't put any garbage in it and set it down there. Cause it, you know, with the, with the, with the lid not closing right, it would get rain in it and, and flies in it, you know. And they're hard enough to keep out if when the lid works properly. So at least they did the right thing, you know. I think he knew I had too much evidence for one thing. If if it'd been just you know, uh, 
maybe you know I would have had the pictures but not the video they could have said anything you know how do we know a car didn't hit that at the road or how we know you didn't do that or something or other they've damaged our other one a little bit you can see where the you can see where the claw has scratched it you know on a regular one a lot and these things are expensive y'all if we end up having to ever buy one of our the one that they give you i don't forget how much they are they're a bunch hundreds you know uh, so what we're going to do is just like i said we're going to take it out there and what is that one i want to see something we're going to take the one that uh that the purchase part out there This is must have been a used one because this is not. Got, this one has stickers on it, but we never put those stickers on it. This one's been used because our stickers must be over here. This thing. We don't have any stickers on ours. Let's see. The year. It's our original. This is the one they painted on our dress. And this one was used anyway since at least 2015 because of the stickers on it. They say the year. So it's already four years old, no wonder. It beat up, I guess, when we got it. Well, let's go see what things are looking like out here. I hadn't checked anything. I hadn't had time this morning. See that big crane thing up there? Above the tree? I guess they got smart. Instead of using climbing up that tree and it was nothing, at least they got, they got a crane over there. And I can see it down here moving right past the house you can see it going down I can't get a real good shot of that though so I don't know if I'll film it or not but you can see the top of it moving around that thing's tall I don't know what they're I don't know what they're doing if they raise it up there and cut limbs and put in something or I don't know why they have that huge thing See how everybody's doing out here? Oh, next Tuesday it's supposed to uh, have a low of 28 and light snow. So that may be the end of a few things. I'm still going to cover it up because it should, it should get warm again. I mean, I'm not going to cover this, but I'm still going to cover my garden part of it up. Not the tomatoes, though. But some of these flowers are a little bit burnt, some of the leaves. Some of them are still looking good. Eventually they'll all die, you know. You can see these. some of these are not doing right that are coming out. They're little... What's that one? A little wilty. I don't think it got super cold last night, though. This one's going to come out. That one there and this one right down here. That's going to be a little flower. I <clears throat> hope it makes it. The blue ones have been doing good out here in the cold though. Yeah, some of these buds are not doing right when they come out the the leaves are getting, I mean, the petals are getting frozen like. I didn't cover the garden last night. I don't think, I think it was in the 40s or something. 
But I did, I'll show you, I cut back all these here yesterday. I didn't pull them up yet. They still got some tomatoes on them, but I don't know if they'll grow now or not. I'm not gonna keep covering them up. There's not enough here to worry about, really. This way, the cauliflower and cabbage are getting more, uh, more light. Hey, there's a tomato. Look, y'all, I missed one. <laughs> Hey, it's about right, too. It's got a little place on it, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> good thing I cleared all this out so I could see them. I don't think there's any more. There's one that rotted and turned red. Cabbage is starting to look like actual cabbage. Set that over there. Hey, everybody seems pretty good this morning. Them aren't, still aren't perking up too good that I transplanted. Remains. These are looking pretty good over here though. The kale and the turnips. And them, them onions back there are starting to do pretty good on their own. I didn't do anything to them. They were just covered up by the cucumbers for a long time. I think there's a few onions in here still around here. There's one. Let's see. In there. We've got, we've got green beans down here at the bottom. They should be growing pretty soon after they, after this flowers kind of fade away then you'll see little there's one I don't know how good y'all can see it it's cute there it is see I'll be little ones all over soon here's one <laughs> they're cute when they're little like that they'll be all over it soon though I hope it'll be okay. I know this plastic seems to work pretty good. I think it, when the sun hits the plastic, it heats it up and stuff underneath, I think. But, here's a little update this morning. Hi, Anna and Eva, how are you doing? Hey everybody, it's kinda chilly out here this morning. Yeah, it is, I'm gonna be bringing y'all in. If I'll bring y'all in before it snows, any. Oh, I appreciate that, Mike, so much. Okay, we sure will, I got that blanket there for you if you need it. Okay, appreciate it. Uh-oh. A casualty. Oh, maybe it won't be as crazy of a day as yesterday. I reckon. the sky the sun's warming things up now looking pretty good out there I'm glad I didn't fill my feeder up yesterday because it rained hard and it ruins that sea It'll, it'll ferment if it's in water. It smells awful too. I'm moving on uh, with my, my subscriber count. It's gone up some more y'all. I'm at, as of this morning, and you know, they fluctuate, everybody. Uh, they fluctuate if things, you know, YouTube will do like purges. And they take people off, you know. Uh, almost, not every day or anything, but you'll lose some and get some. But as of this morning, I'm at 1911. When I get to 2K... 
I'm going to be doing the hashtag 2K giveaway. And uh, be giving away a Walmart gift card to the United States only. I apologize for that. But, yeah, it'll be a time for celebration. Sure will for me. Hope y'all, hope y'all can help me get there quicker so we can do the drawing. Just share, share with your friends and tell people about my channel. I always welcome new friends right into our family. We all take care of each other here. So yeah, look for that. Moving right along with that. I don't know how long it'll take. Sometimes, you know, you get quite a few <clears throat> and then sometimes it just you know is in like a slump where you don't get many or you could actually lose some you know um, you just never know but I've been doing pretty good lately I think I got 40 hours watch time yesterday from my videos of course the day we did Logan's reviews on Wednesday. We got 52 hours, which is fantastic. It was a record for me since I started. I've never got that many in one day. I was I was very happy. Tonight, I'll, I'm gonna go in in a minute and give y'all some relaxing time. And when I come out, I'll bring this sauce I'm gonna make. Um, we decided to, Logan never says what he wants for dinner because he likes everything, as y'all know. Uh, but we decided for Logan to pick something he wants, you know, from what we have, uh, that he wants me to make at least once a week. So once a week he's going to pick what, what recipe he would like me to fix, and I'm going to fix it. So tonight he wants this... I'll have to show you. It's it's. I'll fix the chicken in the crock pot with this. Uh, it's a type of barbecue sauce, but it's a mustard-based sauce. I think it's smoky mustard flavor. We got it at Aldi, and I, I'm gonna go in and get some more coffee in a minute, and then I'll show y'all the this, this sauce. I think it'll be delicious, and we're gonna put some. Later on, I mean, uh, we're going to put some potatoes, diced potatoes in there, that, you know, fresh ones. And then we'll put some, uh, we got some baby carrots. Those are the two things that I can mainly eat vegetables for me. But we drink uh, V8 juice for me to get the other vegetables. But, um, yeah, I'll show y'all. And it'll be good. Uh, I guarantee you. If y'all haven't seen it, watch my cook with me. I don't do them very often. I think that might have been about 14 or 15 I've done in the playlist. So if you want to look at my playlist for cook with me's. But I did, you know, just an impromptu thing. I didn't know I was even going to fix the hash brown casserole last night. I was just sitting there thinking what all we had that might go with those teriyaki bowls. And by the way, I wasn't able to eat much of that teriyaki bowl because I can't eat those soybeans, adame or whatever they're called. I can't eat those and they had big pieces of the stalk of broccoli in there and I can't eat those hard pieces either. But uh, it was good though. The flavor was good and they loved it, of course. And it was good for them, but I couldn't eat a lot of that. So I ate a lot of that hash brown casserole and it was, it was delicious. So watch that, it only has like I don't know, maybe five ingredients or so. And it's very easy to fix and it's delicious. Well, let me see if you get that going on here for a second. I 
think our neighbor, <laughs> the, the one that's having that tree cut down, uh, I think he must, he's probably seen me out here <laughs> before filming everything and taking pictures of stuff because he's out there taking pictures of those guys uh, working on his tree. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, it doesn't hurt. Take pictures, y'all, really. You never know what's going to happen. That tree could fall into his house when they're, you know, taking it down. And if you had a picture of it, of course, you know, if it was me, I'd have a video. But, uh, yeah, it's always good to do stuff like that. That's funny. Go get some more coffee, y'all. Relax for a minute. I don't know if any birds will show up. Y'all like my... I don't know if y'all have seen this little... Hummingbird wind chime. Turn around here. Isn't that cute? I got that at Dollar Tree and I got one of a frog. It's not got big things on it, but you can hear it when the wind's blowing. Little hummingbird. I think that's cute. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'll bring out that sauce to show y'all.
Okay. Yeah, it's from Aldi. I think it was a dollar ninety nine. Hope the sun isn't. I hope you can see that good. It's Cookhouse Moonshine Barbecue Sauce, smoky mustard. It says sweet, smoky, and tangy, with a deep mustard flavor and just the right amount of moonshine. Are you kidding me, really? Well, it was just, a... let me see if it actually says. Whiskey moonshine. It's got water, brown sugar, so no high fructose, that's really good. Tomato paste, yellow mustard, vinegar, water, mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika, white vinegar, whiskey moonshine, Worcestershire sauce, molasses, Salt, cane sugar, tamarind syrup, garlic powder. Wow. Some stuff I don't know what it is. Natural hickory smoke flavor, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. Wow, that's good. Let's see what it says. It's got a recipe here. Mustard, moonshine, grilled pork chops. Ooh. One pound pork chops, smoky barbecue sauce on the grill. You can use it as a marinade, as a dip, or on top of stuff. You can use it, you can add it, which I'm going to do, add it to the slow cooker and let the sauce simmer to make your meal perfection. So, this is what Logan wanted. We, we've had it for a while. I love different kinds of barbecue sauce. I've never tried much uh, mustard-based sauces, which is like the Carolina sauces are in North Carolina. A lot of theirs are mustard-based. So, you know, I think it's going to be good, especially if it's smoky like that. And I think the potatoes and carrots and stuff would taste good with some of it on them, too. So yeah, can't wait to try that. Um, I'm going to, I'm a little behind on things. Uh, I'm going to uh, finish the Kitty's Corner. I promised I would finish that and I'm gonna, I'll finish that and do that today. Um, other than that, it'll just have to be life with Mike. Something happens, you know me. I'll let you know about it. I'll film it or something. <laughs> but I hope everybody has a good day today. It's nice here. It feels pretty good. I'm just not looking forward to that cold spell coming up in a little bit of snow. But we'll see what happens. It might change before then. That's Tuesday. So everybody, uh, Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out, and share with everyone. Please share. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'll see you later on. We'll have a good kitty's corner. Bye-bye.